In this tutorial in SeperLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you a very simple way to transition in your program from color to black and white or black and white to color. There are more sophisticated things that you can do where you mix the two. That requires using the Color Director program, and we have or will have tutorials showing you about that. But for the sake of this tutorial, we'd like to show you a simple way to transition every pixel on the screen from color to black and white or back again in a few seconds. So what I've done is I've taken this clip and it's a clip of a gal moving down the highway, driving down in a convertible. And what I'd like to do is a few seconds in, we'd like to transition from black and white to color which means we have to shift it into black and white mode and then out again. So what I'm going to do is click anywhere on the clip and then I will click on the Fix Enhance button above the timelines. And then we're going to work on some of our enhancements. But before we do anything, I want to enlarge the screen because we're going to use keyframing. So I'm going to click on the Keyframe button. Now that opens a window where I have a keyframe and I have all these attributes that we just saw on the previous screen. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to figure out where do I want it to be in color. So it starts out default in color with my saturation. This is the one we're going to use at uh, 100. So let's say we're in the project about, oh, maybe something like eight seconds or so. And we want at this point in time for it to be what you see on the screen color. So I'll, I'll, on the saturation scale, I'll click a diamond that will set a keyframe right here at this point in time. And then we'll go back uh, maybe about, oh, three seconds. And we'll back it up to maybe something like this. And um, at this point in time, we're going to set a different keyframe. We're going to take our saturation and we're going to drop it down to zero. And the minute I begin to move the slider, it sets a keyframe. And then I'm going to go to the very beginning of the project and set a keyframe there. So what I've done is uh, keyframes basically control the properties of your uh, object. When, in this case, it's a clip at any moment in time. So as we start, the saturation is set to zero here. It stays zero until it reaches this second keyframe. And you can move between them by clicking the right arrow or left arrow. And here it's also zero. And then when I click right again, here it's 100%. So it will transition over this course of time. Let's say we want to also go from color to black and white. So we'll move over here with our slider. And we'll set another keyframe by just clicking the diamond. And this is 100%. Okay, now we're going to go back to black and white. So I'll move my playhead farther along. And we will automatically move the slider, which sets the keyframe. I will lower that to black and white. So in the course of the project, it should start out black and white, transition slowly to color here, stay solid at color, and then between this moment in time and this moment in time, go back to black and white. Let's see if that's truly what happens. Okay, we'll widen the screen so we can see. Uh, we'll click on movie mode and start at the beginning of our clip and go ahead and play it. Uh, the convertible and the gal start out in black and white. And now it slowly, over a few seconds, turns to full color. And it stays at color for the maximum amount of time that we've set between our keyframes. And then we'll see it slowly fade back into a black and white and finish out in black and white. So it's that simple to transition from color to black and white using keyframes in CyberLink PowerDirector.